Welcome to this simulation. Uh, the main task remains in working in the flash cascade system. Remember that flash cascade system is nothing more than a series of flash drums set up in order to maximize the purity of the most volatile material. In this case, we have benzene, which is the most volatile material, and toluene. This is binary system. We have a feed, and we saw that this flash alone was not good enough. We need to add further stages to maximize this. So remember, this was 61%, 71%, and we got up to 80%. Now, I don't want to go further on adding flashes. I just want to show you how recycling will improve the total flow rate of the paper. Remember that we sell kilos, not only purity. So the more material we can recover, the better because we have these little streams, intermediate streams, that are being thrown away. In case two, because this is case one, the image here, in case two, what we want to do is to recover by recycling these materials. What we will see is that vapor increases and the composition increases also. This is a win-win situation. We also can remove certain chillers and heaters but the total heat duty increases because the removal, well, as you can see, the total stream flow rate will be greater. Now let's go back. As you can see here, this is exactly the same case we were working before. In this case, I also added with recycle, meaning that I can throw away the simulation and the original simulation will not be affected. So that's also a very important thing to consider whenever you're doing simulations. Try to save the most files so you don't uh, throw away or waste your time, waste your simulation. So this is status quo. Let's run the simulation. Hopefully there are no errors and no warnings. And we had between 12.5 and 13 streams. I think this is 80%. B3. Small composition, small fraction, and yes, we have 80% with a total flow rate of 12.5. Please check out the this part right here, the heat duties. And the first approach I'm going to do is to recycling or do some recycling in this part right here. Let me run the simulation. As you can see, the heat duty is not that drastically affected. Let us currently, I'm seeing that this is literally twice as before. Let's see if the total amount of benzene remains the same because if we decrease in composition, well, then this is not useful. And this is great. We remain almost with the same purity. Actually, we increase it a little bit. I would say it is not that impactful or deep change. But the important part here is that we have twice the original amount, meaning that we have, because we recycled this and this, we have now twice as material to sell. The second approach will be, let's see what happens when we add this recycling stream. Okay, so let's run this. Hopefully there are no errors, no warnings, there are none. And as you can see, the heat duty increases considerably. Before it was 10, this was 100,000, so 30% increase. This was 50 something, so there's also about 30% increase in heat duty overall. Now we have 30% of the stream right here. And we increase the total composition of benzene in our stream. Not only that, we have 30% kill mole, so I would say that's great for this type of simulation. Now guys, what I will do is, or at least I will try to convince you to do, is try to remove the chiller and heaters, try to make this recycling stream right here, try to add more separators. As you can see here, we only have one, two, three separators. Try to add four, five, six, seven, all the way until you see errors coming to your simulation. Most likely the errors that you will encounter are mass balance error because 
uh, when doing the, the equations and the convergence, Eventually, what you are going to see is that the purification is so great that there is an error with the mass balance. But overall, I will say this is a good simulation.